everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am having a bit of a rejig with my binders um or mainly like two of them i think at the moment um so i've made myself some new envelopes um and yeah so i've changed the dashboards that i showed you i think in my last video i've changed them ever so slightly made them a little bit smaller because i think they were a bit too big for me anyway i don't really know what like the right size is for dashboards um i'm assuming they need to be a little bit oversized compared to the envelopes um but yeah i don't know um so i've just had a fiddle about and got them to where i want them for my envelopes and my binder um but yeah so let's let's get into it so uh, let's start with the dashboards first. So I've changed the colours. Um, I was just having a play about and I found these like pink and white and I was like, yes, that is definitely a bit of me. So yeah, I, I've changed them to pink um, and they are a little bit smaller. I also played with this like white and pink one as well and I don't know which one I prefer. I like them both equally, I think. <laughs> um, I've noticed that this is a different font to this. I don't know. I was in a bit of a rush. Well, sort of a rush. I just really wanted to get them done. But I might end up having to reprint them again. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, they are the dashboards. So I've just got the annual savings and car. I'll pop those there. And then the envelopes. So I've gone for a matte finish with the vellum. Um, and literally I have done all of the ones in my, in this, like a, um, sinking funds envelope, folder, binder, whatever it's called. Um, so we've got car insurance, car maintenance. I've changed Leonard to Leonard and Lucy. So they're going to be saved together. Steve, debt, one month ahead. Oh, there's loads of black on that. Hmm. Um, we've got emergency fund, tech and holiday, even though I haven't been saving for holiday just yet. But yeah, so they are all of the envelopes that we are going to pop in today. And I'm going to change which binder they're in. So I think for aesthetic purposes, they would look really cute in this one. So I'm going to, we're going to go for this, see how it works. I'm still not sold on this binder, but... I don't know. I think it will look cute together. So I'm just going to take those out and pop those over there. Um, okay, so let's start popping these in. So I'm going to pop them in in the same order as they are in the other binder. So one month ahead and debt. And then we will pop in the savings dashboard. So yeah, that seems a hell of a lot better size-wise instead of like the really big ones, like this was the other size. I mean, for me, that's too big, but I don't know. Maybe it's just this bit here that's too big. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks better, slightly smaller? I don't know. Anyway, um, so next is Steve, then Leonard and Lucy. Um, I haven't done a Christmas one, you might have just noticed. I think for Christmas next year, I might make myself one of my binders to use. Um, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so those two, and then the car dashboard. And that is that done. This is actually the first time I've seen them properly in here with the dashboards and everything. I sort of made sure the envelopes were the right size. Um, but yeah, I think that looks pretty cute. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I was playing with the idea of having the dashboard the other way around because I know I do this and obviously these are this way around. But I don't know. Anyway, that is that one sorted then. I do think that looks pretty cute. I make my envelopes quite small. Maybe it would all look a bit better if I made them bigger, but I don't need them bigger because it fits the cash in just fine. Um, okay, so we just need to take all of these. Oh, we need to swap the money over, don't we, actually? I completely forgot about that. Okay, let's do that. So, car. It's the only problem with these is how... <laughs> 
I don't like to lay flat. There we go. As she says, and then it starts going up again. Anyway, um, right, so we've got 220 to go into car insurance. Now I have made some new trackers as well. So I think I'll just do those off camera. Um, but the car insurance tracker, slightly bigger and yeah i've just changed the design ever so slightly it's mainly just this bit here um but yeah i will i'm just going to pop both of those in for the moment and i will do those off camera to save you the coloring in but i love how it looks the other side as well right car maintenance we've got the 200 in the bank and I've also got a new tracker. Again, just ever so slight. Well, design, adding a bit of pink, adding a bit of pink. So we'll pop those <laughs> in there. Right, annuals, so obviously nothing. Christmas, I'll just leave Christmas for the moment. Um, yeah. Um, right, Leonard and Lucy. I haven't actually, I need to print off a tracker. I was supposed to do that before this video and I've only just remembered. So I'll leave that, from, I'll pop it in there for the minute, but there will be an updated tracker with both of their names on there. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30. So 130 in there. And yeah, I think I'll just like split the money from now on. Or like it's sort of you know whenever I go up there it's gonna be used between them and yeah it'll all be good right Steve we've got 20 40 60 80 1 10 so I'm 10 to go in there perfect and then on to savings. I haven't actually tested that the it fits 50s. I think we'll be okay. Oh, lovely. <clears throat> See, this is why I like the envelopes to be just the size they're needed to be. I guess it will, if I have loads of money in there, then it wouldn't work as well. Because obviously if it's a bit deeper and wider, it would, it would help with there being more money. But I don't plan on there being too much money in these envelopes. We can always change them though, we can always change them. So one month ahead, we've got 200 to 450 in the bank for 60. And I will keep that tracker for the moment. Not gonna change that one. Yeah, so you wouldn't want too much more in there. But then obviously the placeholders do take up a bit of space. Um, all right, emergency fund. Oh, I just broke it. Um, right, so we've got 500, 650 in the bank and 670. Um, I have, oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's right next to me. Again, I have updated this ever so slightly, um, made it pink and just changed the fonts <clears throat> a little bit, excuse me. And I have also taken off um, the pound signs. I have updated all of my trackers. So any of the ones that had pound signs on, I've changed them all to take the pound signs off so they are then universal for any currency um, and then it just saves having loads of different listings. I have still got the listings up especially for like digital downloads um, on my Etsy for ones with dollars and euros. I haven't updated them though so they do look like the old design. Um, yeah I don't plan on updating them all. They will just be like those new ones I might eventually take everything off like have it just with no currency <clears throat> excuse me why am I so croaky every time um <laughs> right tech um we've got 200 300 in the bank and then 20 40 50 65 so 365 I'm gonna keep this tracker for the moment but I have made my own tech tracker so I will probably print that off shortly um, and put that in there. So that is all of them in there. 
because obviously we're not doing holiday at the moment. Well, they filled up quite a bit. That's good. I like it. Cool. So, I guess, um, I guess when now they've got stuff in them, it's probably better having a bigger dashboard. I don't know. I don't know. Um, right. So, um, we'll, pop, whoa, we'll pop that one there. And then we just need to take all of these out. I'll probably either keep them or repurpose them and just like take the vinyls off, give them a little clean. Right, so I'm just, for now, I think I'm just gonna pop the dice challenges in here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave the dashboards for the minute. If I end up changing them, make them a bit smaller or something, I'll just do that off camera. So that's those ones. So that's all our dice challenges now in there. Um, I just think this binder will be a bit better with like coinage, coinage and stuff. So that is, that's everything, I think. That's all set up. Um, let me know what you think of this. I mean, let me know if you think I should make these just a bit wider. Um, yeah, because it sort of looked okay when there was no money in them. Now there's money and bits in them. I don't know. Does it look okay? I think so. I don't know how it should look. <laughs> I've never really had dashboards before, but that is everything. Or maybe I'll make one that says like long-term sinking funds or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be recording another video soon after this one, um, but I... I'm getting really close to a thousand subscribers now. I was thinking I may do a giveaway when I get to 900 and then do another one when I get to a thousand. I don't know. What do you guys think? I did a poll on Instagram and when I checked it, um, pretty much everyone was saying do a giveaway at 900, but I then forgot to check it and I don't know what the end result was. I don't know if there's a way that you can check old stories with like polls and stuff. If there is, please let me know. Um, Millie's coming to say hello. Um, but yeah, so before we get loads of cat bum in the camera, I am going to say goodbye and I will see you all on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.